So I got sucked into a rabbit hole and I have most fun now. Apple allowed like legacy emulators to be played and like to be distributed on the App Store. And so in Vision Pro now you can you 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 can launch uh, these emulators. So there's a Delta emulator where it is basically Nintendo Game Boys. Um, this aspect ratio is actually pretty cool. Um, and I was like, my favorite games are on GameCube, and there is no emulator on the App Store supporting GameCube because it needs a JIT for performance. But there is this open source emulator, Dolphin emulator, uh, for, and it's got an iOS version. Um, so if you go to the iOS version of this project, you can actually follow the instructions to compile it, uh, running in Xcode, and once you've got it running in Xcode, you can actually build it for the Vision Pro. Um, so here I have all the GameCube games I have um, that I love and then I've played the heck out of it, and I can just play them on the Vision Pro. So let's go to Super Mario Sunshine, and I've got a DualSense um, PlayStation controller connected. Um, so Super Mario Sunshine, it's just starting up. The cool thing is that you can go into settings and you can actually increase the resolution at which um, everything is being rendered. So you get a better experience than you used to even get playing it on the, on the, on the GameCube. So I've already started the game and you can save at any spot. That's also another nice <laughs> feature. You don't just have to wait for the save game spot. And here I can just play the game. So yeah, you, you get the gist. Um, what I'm most excited about is that there is this game here, Eternal Darkness, and there's been absolutely no remake made of Eternal Darkness. And Eternal Darkness is one of the best games I've ever played. Um, it goes into that Lovecraft, Edgar Allan Poe, Cthulhu lore. Um, and it's sort of like an adventure game where you explore like an estate and then everything that's below it um, but the graphics still hold up so well uh, and this is with upscaling so it's actually rendering this at, at like four times the original resolution so twice twice at each uh, end um, twice the height and twice the width um, look at this I'm not going to start the book now because then shit's going to happen. Um, and even even Resident Evil 4, this this version, it's been remade for uh, Mac OS and it looks gorgeous. But even this version actually looks really good. I actually don't know if I've saved the state of this. I have not. Um, but yeah, you can you can see it's 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 basically it's a perfect emulation. Um, I I don't know I'm gonna get any work done anymore. <laughs> it is. Oh my god. Resident, Resident Evil Four. Oh my god. Anyway. Um, 1998. Let's see if I can skip through this, actually. I think you can skip through it pretty quickly. Um, I'm sorry, this is... Like, I'm <laughs> there we go. <laughs> look, look at this. Sorry. I'm used, I'm used to the PlayStation controls. Um, It's been a minute since I've played this on GameCube. Um, but yeah, this version of Resident Evil 4 is probably the one I, I, I played the most. Can look at these models, they're still so good. And this is obviously with like the high resolution rendering. Um, 
And this is running natively on the Vision Pro, so you, you don't need anything else. You just have a Vision Pro and this DualSense controller. Um, and this is already how I was sort of like traveling with the Vision Pro in the, in the Apple travel case. You can actually fit the DualSense controller right with all the other stuff and it fits super nicely into it. Well, let, actually, let me pull this up here. Um, so here in the travel case, if you put the Vision Pro here, actually the controller can be right here. And so it's all nicely packaged together. And this is <laughs> that's the most amazing mobile gaming setup um, and media setup and everything setup. Um, I don't know, like the Vision, the Vision Pro is just, it's changing things, it really is. Um, anyway, just showing that this is possible, um, it's not gonna end up on the App Store because for JIT execution, you actually have to connect a debugger once when the app is running um, so that it you know, has different access to uh, memory pages and it's able to sort of swap executable code in and out. Um, but it works, and look at this. Um, I don't know the witches mentioned. Like, Nintendo. Nintendo, Nintendo. Um, I think I might have saved state here, or did not save the game. Maybe. Ooh, yeah, save the game. Look at how good this still looks. Ooh, huh? Mario. <laughs> Mario! Mario! <It's> like, <laughs> oh. Mario! Mario! Oh my god. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs>